everybody, this is Nia Fada. I'm here with a weekly astrological message. This time for November 21st until November 30th. Let's say, you know, I'm a bit cold. And as you can see, <laughs> and I've been suffering from a cold for the last week and a half, a viral cold. So I'm, I'm dealing with it. I have an eclipse on my sun tomorrow. This is being shot on the 18th. So the lunar eclipse on the 19th is smack on my sun. And goddess knows I'm feeling it. <laughs> if you want to know more about this lunar eclipse, go back to my previous video. This time we're going to talk about the sky from the 21st until the 30th, how it affects all of us, all zodiac signs and the energy above. So the 21st itself, Mercury planet of communication, sex styles, Pluto, this is an introspective, therapeutic, psychologistic, transformative communication and thought pattern. It involves talking to ourselves and others and understanding and, and having revelations and having deep conversations and maybe transformational conversations. Our words are more powerful at this time. So, you know, with great power comes great responsibility as a, the author of Spider-Man, the late Stan Lee wrote. That's the 21st. The 22nd, I have nothing particular to say about 23rd nice day in the heavens and so is the 24th generally speaking these are calmer happy days and we need this breath of fresh air goddess knows i need that uh, recuperative energy that regenerative energy and creative energy and playful energy and it's coming in the 23rd and it's coming at the 24th however as we approach the 25th the 26th the 27th the sky clouds uh, um, and, and clouds gather and we could see more squares in a T-square forming in the sky. The moon joins in a T-square with Saturn and, and uh, Uranus. And then on the 26th, we have the moon squaring Mars. And then on the 27th, it squares the sun and Mercury as well. These are tenser days. These are days that we should enhance our calm, as Philip K. Dick wrote, and and be less reactive, just analyze things before we react. This could be tenser and, and you know, stricter days in a sense. However, from the 28th, the sky clears back up and there's a very playful, creative energy that comes in um, with a lot of uh, trines in the sky. Um, the moon joins in a grand trine as well. And then on the 29th, Mercury trines Chiron as he is in a superior conjunction with the sun. So the sun and Mercury both trine Chiron, a superior conjunction by the ancients is not about how to move from place one one place to the next or just you know see how your daily moves in and, uh, and planning your weeks ahead it's not about the tactical it's about the strategical it's about the philosophical it's about understanding what is it that you aim for anyway what's your target in this life what really makes you happy what really makes you content and am i really walking towards that direction in my life you know course corrections you know and, and tactical stuff could come later on but this is about the philosophical strategical viewpoint that holds the essence of what we strive for what we um utilize our mental energy and our physical energy and our emotional energies to achieve and it's an amazing time for healing, for actually looking at our own pains, our own traumas, and how when we were so young and innocent, they have shaped us. Shaped us in ways that have since produced behavioral patterns that we're still carrying, that still affect our present, that still constrict our opportunities in the future. And with a loving, tender hand, heal them. And say goodbye and leave them behind 
that sense, these two days, the 29th and the 30th, are amazing for a ceremony. If you are an artist, if you want to be creative, if you want to be inspired, if you want to connect to goddess and nature, great days indeed. Mercury sextiles Saturn on the 30th. If you want to get ahead in your job, do something strategic with your career, good days. Good days to ask for a raise. Sun sextiles Saturn. Venus sextile Neptune. Don't ask for too big a raise. <laughs> Don't be naive. <laughs> and the moon trines uh, Saturn as well. So really, you know, putting a base to what is strategically important in our lives. And that's about everything I had to say. Of course, for readings, any kind of reading with me, you're free to contact me. And of course, for private lessons through Zoom, all the details are at the slide at the end. Thank you for sharing this and commenting on this. May we all live long and prosper. This is Nia Fire. Amen. Bye-bye.